Vaping and e-cigarettes have often been described as a safer alternative to regular cigarettes, but new research this morning claims that users are being exposed to toxic metals. Yeah, that includes arsenic and lead. Nine News health expert Dr. Pyle Coley joins us live to talk about these concerns. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. What concerning finding? Huge. Okay, so first just talk about how common e-cigarettes are and what's in them. Unfortunately, it's becoming more and more common. So if you look at data from 2023, 6.5% of adults have used e-cigarettes. And if you look under the age of 24, it's up to 15 and a half percent. So our adolescents are really reaching for them. And we're seeing these numbers year after year go up. And if you think about what goes into an e-cigarette, it's three components in every single e-cigarette. There's a battery pack, mm -hmm. there's a metal coil, and then there's something called a vaping liquid. That's what contains the nicotine, but that's actually run through the metal coils to heat up. Oh. And the smoke that's created is what you're actually inhaling into your lungs. So what has this research said about e-cigarettes and the exposure to these metals? <laughs> so they, they never really thought about it. And as you said, Corey, we always thought that e-cigarettes were a safer alternative to nicotine, but what we're realizing now is that they're actually probably cigarettes plus, because it's not just the carcinogenic components of smoke and nicotine, but you're actually having the liquid come into <coughs> contact with the metal coils, which is causing the metals to leach into that smoke that you're inhaling directly into your lungs. And it's not just the actual metal coils, it's even the battery pack, it's the inside of the e-cigarettes, all of those metal components over time actually leaching into your lungs and you're inhaling them right in. Yeah, you're trading one thing for another. So talk about what high levels of some of these toxic metals can do to your body. So there was a Hopkins study that looked at what percentage of e-cigarettes have more than the safe level of metals, over 50% Whoa. of most common e-cigarettes have these high levels. We're talking lead, arsenic, cadmium, chromium, tin, and you're talking all kinds of negative effects. So first, of course, you're inhaling these carcinogens directly into your lungs, so lung cancer and other types of cancer is a huge risk. Second, it causes actually acute inflammation in the lungs. So you can get an injury pattern in the lungs that can lead to long-term scarring, and essentially your lungs become unusable, especially for us here in Colorado, we really need those lungs. Third, it can, of course, affect your brain health. So all of this gets into your brain, and you're talking about short-term effects, but also long-term effects like dementia, and when adolescents are using it, it can even affect brain development. And then cardiovascular risk is something else. All these metals getting inside your body, they looked at saliva and blood from e-cigarette users, found traces of these heavy metals mm -hmm. in their secretions. And it's not just the metals. I have to wonder, you know, as you inhale this, you're inhaling parts of plastic, you're inhaling obviously the flavors, whatever's in them. Yep, so flavors. So this cotton candy flavor, which sounds great and innocuous, right? It actually has a substance that carries the metal into your cells. So people who got exposed to the cotton candy flavoring, their lung cells died a lot faster than those who didn't have the flavoring. So you're not just talking about the metal itself, but a carrier, a transporter for the metal being mixed into the flavors. Does it just drive you crazy when you hear people say, oh, I vape because it is the better, healthier alternative to smoking? It really does because it, used to say tobacco 2.0, now I'm saying tobacco 2 plus, you know, because it's even worse than tobacco right. is what we're realizing. And it's a pathway to addiction. It's a pathway to many different types of addiction. You turn on those addiction circuits early in your life, they're gonna stay on forever. Well, and we remember when e-cigarettes first came onto the scene, that was a way to wean you off of smoking. Those were for people who wanted to quit. Now we're seeing people starting because right. of vaping. That's right, and weaning onto smoking, weaning onto substance use, alcohol, marijuana, other toxic substances. So actually it started as a good thing, but it's really become very dangerous. Now I still use it in my patients to get them off those right, cigarettes. Right, right. Because again, it helps to wean off with the nicotine doses, but this should be a tool, a bridge to help you come off the cigarettes. You should not start if you haven't started. All right, I have to ask you this last question. We are almost out of time, but is there a safer vape and what would you recommend to people who do vape? So I would say if you vape, try to use the disposable cartridges rather than refillable ones because they're less likely to have metals. But at the end of the day, it, there is no safer vape. Mm -hmm. You need to stop vaping because you're talking about one body, no warranty, no replacement parts. Yeah. <laughs> and this yeah. is just a terrible habit. Yeah, inhaling anything, not too great for your body. All right. Thank you, Dr. Coley. We appreciate it.